toward this end. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vietnam, South Africa, Mr. Chuambo. Thank you very much. Followed by Peru, Peru Mr. Bostamau. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. I think despite the temptation to want to take a homogeneous approach to the Russia-Ukraine situation, I think we as a multilateral body, the IPU, but also encouraging the United Nations to do the same thing, we should be able to sensibly listen as to some of the reasons and some of the contextual issues that are raised around the role of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. Because speaking from the African continent, we have got a very horrible experience where they came to enforce a no-fly zone in Libya and ended up with a destroyed country and an assassinated head of state, Colonel Mamwa Gaddafi. And we should be rightfully concerned by NATO's expansionist policies eastward and the reaction that is now defining the Russian Federation. And so this, this issue of trying to bulldoze everyone towards a singular and homogeneous perspective does not help. Despite these observations, I think that the IPU and the United Nations as well should position themselves as institutions and platforms that must mediate for peace and have negotiations with all the parties that are involved. Instead of condemnation Africa, and just winding up, ourselves, please. I'm winding up, not, not just supplying arms to one of the warring partners. There has to be a relentless and consistent effort to try to achieve peace in Ukraine and Russia instead of supplying arms to one of the warring partners. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Oh. Thank you, South Africa.